Okay, I wanted to finish this video on this, so I'm going to put this paracord, I'm going to do this wrap paracord. I'm going to do the braid, and I'm going to put it on here. So, let me put on this one stick, I'll show you. It's going right in that hole. Right there. That's where it's going. So I'm going to show you what you're going to do. You're going to need four 550 paracord at 40 inch, inches long. What you're gonna need to do, and this is gonna be a separate video, but part of this video will be on my one walking stick video. But what you're gonna need to do So here's how it works. <clears throat> Outer inner. Now this switches. This will now be the outer. This will now be the inner. So if you look at it, one more time, outer, inner, the switches, it goes backwards, it kind of it loops around it. This is now outer, this is now inner, so it does a little switch. And then you take it and you do an overhand knot. Wrap it on your finger, what about six inches left out there. Pull it through, pull it through like this. And then you got your knot. Now remember, this knot's gonna not gonna stay. So if you look at this one, it's not gonna stay that way. I'm gonna square it up after I get done. I'll undo this after I done braid it. So I'm gonna stop this real fast and we're gonna do the braid. So this, let me just explain it, and then you don't have to look it up. But what you do is the far left goes into the middle. The middle left goes over the far left. The far right goes over the middle and two in the middle. The far right goes over the sorry, the middle right goes over the far right. So let's do this again. Left in. Now switch. There you go. And then boom. Once again. You see the braid now? You probably can't, but anyways, far left over no far left over two in the middle, middle right over the far left. Remember to swing it over, and then under. Then once again, under, over, under, over. under. Make sure they're tight too. A couple more times. Over. Under. Over. Under. So, you can probably see some of the braid now. We're going to get to a point on this where, uh, um, uh, you're going to see me I'm just going to do some fast forwarding, so I'm not going to talk much, so you'll just watch. You see some of the braid now. Now when you get to a certain point on this braid, you have to tuck it between your knees, which I'll have to aim it down when I get to that point. I'll have to lower it for where you can see my knees so my face will be in the picture. So let's do a few more. Alright, I'm gonna have to resituate this because what's gonna happen, it's gonna start to twist. It's gonna start to twist. And I don't want that. I don't want to keep it in the middle. And to do that, you gotta tuck it in between your knees. So I gotta resituate this. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there, tucked between my knees now. Now it'll stay tight.
I got one last step to do. Uh, up here. I'm gonna make a square knot like I did. Here. So it's simple. You pinch the top. Pinch the top part. And then unravel this part right here. Just make sure you pinch it. And pop these loose. Just make sure you got that pinched. Now, like so. Fold this. That way. And that way. Make sure they're opposite directions to each other. And then over or under. Hold it like that. The same to the other side. Make sure you hold that down. Pull it through. Pop it through. Tighten these up on each side. And you have your lanyard all made up and ready to go in the stick, so that'll be the next step. Alright, so to finish this, you're going to need needle nose pliers. Trust me on this. It's a... It's like a game of tug-of-war that nobody wins. Neither side wins. It becomes a dead-even finish. If you can understand what I'm saying, you'll get it. So let me get the stick real fast. And the lanyard. I gotta do one thing before I go. I forgot to do one thing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put these four on this side. So I'll show you. I'm going to take a few seconds to do this part. I got them all four on this side. Now, make sure they're tight. Take, I like to do the bottom part first. So these two right here, open it up in the middle. Smush them in there. Drag them in there. And then pull them through. And they should both be visible. Hold each of these four, pull these through. Two are done. Make sure you get them out of this spot right here. Make sure you get them out of there. Now pull these four back. But make sure these two are out of the way. Pull them in tight. Once again, we're going to repeat the same process again. Since there's only going to be one this time. And needle nose type players could very well help the last one. Okay, I got it through. Just being a prick. So hold these, hold these four, again, now pull these back out, back in, tight, make sure that's nice and tight now, we got one more, one more, but this is where it gets tricky, because this last one gets very difficult, let's see if I can push it in, pull it in, nope, that's where a needle nose comes in handy for this, See if I can get it. Oh, no. Pull it right out. I'll come back when this is done. Okay. Off for our end. Once again, hold it. Off for our end. Off for our end. Sometimes I just had to tug a war with it a little bit, that's all. Off for our end. The next thing we'll do is, uh, Cut these, I'll show you one in and then I'll do the other side. So, one by one, I'm gonna leave about four inches, about that much. Yeah, that's fine. Burn the ends. I'll do the same with the other side, but it's the magic of editing. I can just go and cut that all out. So there you have it. All done. I don't think this is coming loose. It's not coming loose. I don't care what anybody says. That's never going to come loose at all. Never going to come loose. 
You can hold it like this, and it coming loose. That's in there tighter than a drum. So, like I said, nobody won this tug of war. No side one, you don't want any side one, anyways. Anyways, it's gonna show you the color pattern real fast. I'm still in the process of oiling this stick, though, so. Uh, hope you enjoyed.